It's been a few minutes since your fight. How are you feeling? A little sore. <laughs> a little sore. I don't know if I'm good. I'm good. It's a uh, walked out, no injuries. Uh, I'll probably hurt a little bit tomorrow, but uh, I, feel, I feel pretty good. Did you expect to go three rounds? No, God, I, I really didn't. Uh, hats off to Rodolfo. He hit his cardio. I was like, how are you still standing? Like, and then I hit him with some hellacious body shots, man. Like, I hit him with one, and he made this weird noise, and I told him, like, go down. And he wouldn't go down. I just talked to him in the back, and he was like, I almost went down, but I wouldn't let myself do it. He's like, yeah, he's like, I got hit, and I almost went down, but I had to make myself stand up. I was like, I, I, I respect it, but you just cost me 50K, bro, so, like, thanks. Uh, your takedown defense was phenomenal tonight. Uh, every, every time I went to, into Extreme Couture, you were with all of the best wrestlers in the gym. Was, was that the game plan? Yeah, man, we knew that uh, I felt confident on the feet. I feel like I can fight most people. Uh, 70, 85, couple 205ers uh, on my feet. I'm supremely confident in my ability to stand. Uh, we just knew that I didn't want to grapple <laughs> Rodolfo Vieira. Uh, so I'm not going to catch him in grappling. So the only thing that leave, you know, he can't catch me in stand-up. The only thing that left was wrestling. Who's going to be the better wrestler? So the last two, three years, Nate Pettit uh, specifically has really put a lot of time and effort into my wrestling. And uh, I'm much, much different than I was in 2019. And, like, you know, that, that's a very good feeling for me. Is it good? I mean, you've been knocking everybody out. So is it good to show the newer fans that don't know Chris Curtis that you can go 15 minutes if need be? Uh, not really. I wanted, I wanted my bonus. But uh, I can go 25 minutes, man. I've got, like, what, like six, seven, 25-minute fights, five-round fights. Like, cardio is never going to be an issue for me, especially at uh, 185. I think I out cardio. 95% of this division. Uh, but, you know, it's I got some extra uh, UFC cage time. I don't mind it too much. Uh, my only real uh, sad moment is I really wanted that bonus. Um, Joaquin Buckley tweeted and said he wants you next. Um, is that a fight that, that, that interests you? That's weird. He was just training with us before. I'm like, all right, that's whatever. Not really thinking about Joaquin Buckley right now, but all right. Weird uh, flex. <laughs> Um, when would you like to get – and it, it's, it's been a long camp. I know you've been t talking about it. You've been wrestling for, for a minute now. Uh, when would you like to get back in? Actually, in, in hindsight, me and Joaquin Buckley would be a fun fight. And Joaquin Buckley knows I like Joaquin Buckley, so, like, you know, it would be, be a fun fight. We could, we could, that would be a bonus fight. Uh, second, uh, I, I want to get three more fights in this year. I wanted to get six in this year. And uh, with scheduling and injuries, it kind of screwed me on that one. There is a fight in, what, Utah or, like, uh, coming up. Let me fight Utah. I mean, if that something happens, let me fight there. Isn't there like Arizona after that? Like, let me do that. I feel fine. If someone dies on fight week, I'll fight. Like, just give me, like, I, I want to get at least two or three more this year. Like, please. Cool. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Hi. You mentioned uh, you didn't think it would go three rounds. What kind of fight did you picture? Uh, either myself getting strangled in the first round or me knocking him out in the second round. Like, yeah, I really hadn't made any uh, assumptions for round three because in none of the millions of uh, times I played this in my head did it go to decisions. I was like, oh, that's all right. Didn't plan for that one. That's cool. Like way to uh, throw the monkey wrench in there, but never once did I imagine it go three rounds. Do you ever imagine a fight going to decision? Like, is that a thing? Uh, there are some people who are just durable. Like there are some really, there are really stupid people who are just insanely durable. So sometimes, you know, like, you guys remember back in the day when, like, uh, the UFC people would come on the screen in the UFC and it had the three little stat bars? And, like, some of the first guy's first stat would be, like, really dirty, like, really tough. And I'm like, oh, shit, he's just going to get beat up for 15 minutes. Like, yeah. So some dudes you just, you know, are just there to be beat up. They just don't care. So sometimes you're kind of aware, like, he's not going to go away. But uh, I didn't honestly think his cardio would last. And I thought I could put on more damage than I did. I think I did a decent amount of damage. He was just tougher than I thought. And, uh the 20 takedown attempts kind of stifle your offense a little bit. Thank you. When you say you want to keep getting back in there, you want to get a lot of these fights, is that just for, just obviously for the money side, or is it that you, you feel you just want, you, you enjoy the growth, you enjoy the fighting, you know, what's the, the big push behind getting lots and lots of fights uh, in this year? I'm 34. I enjoy money and I enjoy violence. Like, there's, that's it. Like, I'm not going to have, 
13 years in this company. I got here super late, so I am trying to make up for lost time. So if I can keep burning through contracts, then I will gladly keep going, uh, you know, burn through my next contract, get a new one, make more money, burn through that. I'm trying to fight as much as possible, as quick as possible. I've got four more years left in this maybe, like four more good years left, so maybe five if I'm lucky. So I really want to make as much money as I can, get as big as I can, make as big as, as big as a name as I can. You know, I, I don't get to enjoy the limelight as much as everybody else, so I got to make the most of it now. Was that always sort of the time frame that you had, or is that something you just, as you're, you're feeling out your body, you're like, oh, I probably want four or five more. I mean, you got like freak of nature's like Glover Teixeira that's doing it, you know, in mid forties or whatever his age is, you know. I mean, but what, where was that time frame for you? Well, Glover, I mean, it's it's a little bit easier as you get heavier, like as you go up in weight, you know, like the athleticism requirements kind of get blurry. But for me, man, I've been doing this for, I've been professional for 13 years. I've been fighting for 15 years now. Uh, I'm held together with willpower and like duct tape, man, especially the way I train. Like it's just, I train really hard. I train a lot. Uh, Strickland will tell you I train apparently too much most of the time. So I just know that's not really the most sustainable thing I can do. And uh, I still feel good. I feel great. But, you know, you wake up, everything hurts a little bit more, like a little bit slower to uh, get out of bed. So I'm kind of aware that like that clock is running. So yeah. By 40, I think, you know, we'll be looking at seriously, like, hey, man, like, what are we doing at this point? Like, so we got to make something happen before then. And you talk, you, you brought up training partners. Is that, you know, a freak weird thing is where you have somebody that you maybe just were in their training? Maybe you guys weren't deep partners or whatever. And like you said, it's kind of a weird flex for a guy that you're just training. Is that something that happens often? That doesn't normally happen around a gym, right? I don't, just, I don't know. I think he may be mad about him fighting Albert. And I'm like, I had nothing to do with that. Like, <laughs> all right, bro. Like, you know, I've, I thought we were friends. It's fine, whatever. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'll fight my friends. It's no, it's no biggie. Like, you know, I'll fight my mom if you guys paid me enough. So it's, it's nothing. Like, it happens. I feel like it happens more than you think. People are just like, okay, whatever. But, uh, you know, I'll keep it on my radar. But right now, I'm not really... I'm going to give a fuck about Joaquin Buckley right now, honestly. Awesome. Well, uh, we, we're definitely not going to push for you to fight your mom, you know. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, my, my mom's got hands. <laughs> Does she? Is you don't understand the ass weapons I took growing up. Like, my mom's got hands. <laughs> That's awesome. Congrats on the victory. Thanks, guys.